global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Indeed, um, there have been this tussle going on between uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu's legal team in U.S. and, of course, Atiku Abubakar and even the Chicago uh, University. And all of these are all just a few hours ago. Chicago State University uh, released their own, made their own statement, made release on their statement uh, over this whole matter. Of course, Bola Ahmed Tinubu have also said to address. Remember, there was at this subpoena issue on this whole matter. Gradually, everything is coming to a head. Nigerians are getting to know exactly what we are expecting. But well, let's find out really what President Bola Metinibu has got to say on this matter. Now, according to the news, uh, President Bola Metinibu has informed the court for the Northern District of Illinois that the application by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party um, Seeking to obtain his academic record is not relevant to his petition in Nigeria. Hmm. Now, Tinubu also informed the court that relevant details of the certificate obtained by an article witness in 2022 contained errors from the clerk of the university, which made it different, which made it different from the one filed at the Independent National Electoral uh, Commission INEC before the election. Now, Atiku had on July 11, filed a petition seeking to obtain further details of Tinubu's academic records at the Chicago State University. Documents sought by Atiku through his counsel, Angela M. Leo, including record of his admission and acceptance at the university, date of at attendance, including degrees, awards, and hon honors or attained by Tinubu at the university, among others. Now, the court presided by Judge Jeffrey Gilbert then held that it has the jurisdiction to entertain the action and give Tinubu till August 23rd to file a reply. Now, in his reply through his lawyers, Victor P. Henderson, Christopher Kame, Kame and Uluwali Afolabi, Filed August 23rd, Tinubu asked the court to deny Atiku's application as he is not an interested party in another petition in Nigeria where the material could potentially be relevant. Now, the lawyer submitted that the focus of Atiku's petition at the presidential election petition court was that he would have won the February 25th presidential election, but for calculation errors, non-compliance and corrupt practices. Now, they refer to Atiku's witness at the tribunal, Michael Anahoro Iba, who first obtained Tinubu's academic records from Chicago, which centered around a self-proclaimed Nigerian public interest litigator who utilized a Chicago, a Chicago law firm unilaterally without court approval. Now, issue a subpoena to Chicago State University to test the truth and veracity of Tinubu's assertions that he attended various educational institutions located in the Chicago land area. Unfortunately, unfortunately, a response to the illegal and invalid subpoena, CSU, which is Chicago State University, CSU made several errors. CSU issued a new diploma for Bola. A Tinubu, but incorrectly wrote the date of graduation as June 27th, 1979, which is Exhibit 8, CSU Registrar Affidavit 5. Now, the correct date was June 22nd, 1979. Now, the one they put incorrectly was actually June 27th, 1979. But the difference here is this one is June 22nd, 1979. But that scavenger's error, along with a change in the CSU, that's Chicago State University logo, the font of the diploma, and the leadership at Chicago State University who signed the diploma. Now, Tinubu had earlier asked the Circuit Court of Cork County, Illinois, Chicago, USA, to squash the subpoena filed by Atiku Abubakar for being an improper fishing expedition.
Now, literally, uh, they are literally saying that there was actually a mistake from some sort of clock around um, the Chicago State University that um, the one the, the diploma issued to them, which was initially uh, initiated by one uh, Nahoro, that's Michael Nahoro, uh, that he was a, a, a private litigator who wanted to be sure that Balama Tinubu had those educational uh, claims he made. Decided to do a private, a personal private investigation, and uh, this was what he discovered. Now, based on what they gave to him, and based on what Tinubu um, tendered in INEC, this were some of the discrepancies uh, they dropped. But indeed, I think uh, uh, based on what I heard, uh, I don't think this is Olu Oleu. You know, Olu Ole is uh, uh, something created. But with, because of the disparities, if you are in Nigeria, you understand what I mean. And when things like logo differences, the year, date of graduation, though year of graduation is the same, if the university said it was June 27, it should be June 27 everywhere because day of graduation is the same everywhere for that session. Okay, so if it is current June 27, then every time a diploma certificate is being issued, there shouldn't be an error of June 27, should be the same. Okay, but you know, they said it was June 27, yet another one was issued at June 22, that to, to, uh, June 22nd, do the same year. So that um, five days difference is enough for Nigerians to call it Luoli. Now, it didn't stop that the logo difference is also there. Okay, so all of that and the fact that the one parliament is be so Submitted kind of looks slightly different from the one that um, uh, Onahoro, the earliest time, got. Don't also forget that before this whole thing began, uh, before this whole um, petition PPT case began, a private investigator uh, by the name Onahoro had actually gone on his own to do his investigation. This was some of the things he got based on that. So when Bola Metinubu's result came on and it was not really totally the same, signature a bit different, um, logo a bit different, they were like, ah, Shelly Nilu or something. But I guess that's what prompted, I felt that probably that's what prompted uh, to go back out to proceed. That's one. Secondly, I feel that uh, the excuse now Bola Metinubu is giving her head is that what Bola Metinubu is looking for is not relevant to his case. He's saying that based on his calculation, should have been the president or based on that should have won the election, 2023 election, miscalculation and the position of INEC and all that. But he never mentioned the issue of educational qualification. So it's not relevant to his case that he's filing in PEPT. So I don't know, I do not know how this will play out, but let's, you know, find out. Let's begin our conversation. What's the take on the drama unfolding around this educational qualification saga? Let's interact. Have a nice day.